Hello and welcome to the Wedding Dish Podcast. Grab your fork and knife and take a seat at our table as we dish on all things weddings. You'll hear stories and tips from real couples and wedding pros about love, life, and entrepreneurship. I, of course, am Sarah Alipin, the host of the Wedding Dish Podcast, and I'm the CEO of Photos from the Hardy and District Bliss. Sadly, today, our little French bulldog, Bud Clouseau, is downstairs having his dinner, but um, he's with us in spirit up here. (laughs) And I am really excited to be bringing you this week's episode of The Wedding Dish. So today, we are talking about an all-inclusive lakeside venue and CNC by the lake with Courtney Strange. I am so glad to have you here on the wedding dish today. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. I love your venue. I think it's absolutely stunning. It is just such a cool space, and I'm really excited to dish with you about it. Can't wait to tell you all about it. <laughs> so, before we dive in, I know there's some, you know, there's a lot of buzzwords we use in the wedding industry. And I often realize we don't define them for our people that are potential clients, our listeners, our couples. Um, So what does all-inclusive actually mean for a wedding venue? Well, I think it can vary because I think that some of the venues can have partners where they have a preferred list of vendors that you can pick from. Or in my case, we have a set list of vendors that we exclusively work with on an all-inclusive wedding. And for me, you know, sometimes couples will say, oh, can I bring my such and such? Um, but it doesn't, for me, it works best if I have my whole team because everyone knows their job. They know, you know, so-and-so is behind, let me pick up the slack. And it just makes for a flawless um, wedding day. That's, that makes total sense. So what is actually included? Yeah. So um, in my package specifically, it comes with the venue, the planner, um, flowers, food, cake, bartender, photography, DJ. So literally everything you bring your dress and hair and makeup artists and show up and we do it all. Oh, wow. Okay. So you really are all inclusive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and it, it's great for people that maybe they're finishing like a, um, you know, educational program or they're really busy with their careers and they're like, I just cannot go out and interview all of these caterers or DJs or, you know, where, where do I start? It just makes my head spin. And, and, you know, they see my social media and they see the things that we're putting out and they're like, okay, I don't have to stress. I know that you'll take care of me. So it's nice, you know, especially for me, um, I like to be there on tour and, you know, with little kids, it's kind of hard to like juggle showing up on some random Wednesday for, to give a tour. But, you know, if someone is really interested in this all inclusive, they've got to like me. (laughs) And if you don't like me, it's not going to work out very well. So it's kind of an interview for the whole thing on whether you want to work with me, you trust me. And it's, you know, it's, it's a big responsibility, but it, it pays off in the end. I think that's such a great point and often something that can be overlooked. You do have to like your wedding vendors. Like you can't – You, it just makes the whole process easier because if you have questions for any of us, you have to feel comfortable reaching out and asking and just liking someone's work isn't quite enough. And I I say this all the time to my people, but I think it's so important. I really wanted to mention that – you know, saying that like you really do have to like your people and because it's not just the wedding. That's not the only time you're hanging out with Courtney. You're right. getting a lot, <laughs> a lot of questions answered. You're getting tons of emails. You're, you know, seeking expertise about this or that. So very important. I'm glad you I'm mentioned glad that. I'm noodles in bed while we're <laughs> FaceTiming at night, you know, that type of thing. Am I person? <laughs> yes. I love it so much. So what are some of the benefits of it's having, of having an, an all-inclusive wedding venue other than um, just, you know, obviously knowing the team, everything kind of runs like a well-oiled machine. What are some of the other benefits of having an all-inclusive wedding venue? Yeah. So it's kind of nice that I have people that, you know, like, oh, you already have all the dishes. Oh, you have all the linens. I don't have to rent X, Y, Z, you know, we have everything that a a couple could want within reason. You know, there's some things that we're like, let's source that out. I'm not going to need that 
you know, over and over again. Um, but for the most part, just knowing that everything is there that you could need. We're not that you didn't leave anything at home because we already have it. Um, so that's nice. And then also with it, you know, having multiple locations on our property, you know, your guests can just be there all day. They don't have to be shuttled around. And that, that's a big thing, you know, as well. Yeah, it's in a, a one-stop shop for vendors and also a one-stop shop for your guests. <laughs> right. <laughs> that makes total sense. Um, yeah. Speaking of the property, I noticed you had some cabins on the property as well. What? L- tell me a little bit about that. What inspired you all to bring the cabins in? I just love this idea. I think it's such a cool move for CNC by the Lake. Um, my dad is a dreamer and he gets, he probably just woke up and was like, I'm going to build some cabins today. Um, and then he bought the materials for more cabins than I want to count out loud. Um, so kind of like <laughs> low and roll a little bit, but I mean, he, he is, he's amazing. And so he decided, you know, he wanted to have some cabins. He's got this dream of this honeymoon cabin on the Island that is going to happen eventually. Um, but currently we've got nine cabins under construction and um, just a different, like some of them are one bedroom, some of them are two bedrooms. And our newest thing, which I don't even think I've told all of my people, but this summer we're going to get like a lodge or a game room where if you rent the cabins, then your family and friends can just stay and hang out and have a nice relaxing place to just, you know, hang out um, during on the weekend and oh, just enjoy house. being <laughs> and just enjoy being together and not completely focused on wedding activities. I love that so much. I also think it's so fun because it reminds me of like, essentially, it's like going to camp yeah, as a kid. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what, I mean, eventually we'll have like paddle boards and canoes and fishing and barbecuing. And I just kind of see it as being, you know, like a destination. Obviously, we're in Arkansas, but I mean, hey, if Arkansas is your destination, <laughs> Us. Uh, but, you know, I think it will be a nice place for people who are not looking for a beach wedding or something, but something, a place that feels comfortable and you can just relax and let people take care of you. So that's exciting. That's so cool. And cool. it's very, it's not modern. I mean, it is modern. It still feels like summer <laughs> camp, but it doesn't have any, it's like actual nice properties and cabins <laughs> that have like nice new beds. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, and air conditioning. <laughs> that's that's the joy of it all. Yeah, so it, it's and really I beautiful. Lo- yeah, yeah, I love that you don't have to compromise on the venue either in order to get that like summer camp kind of feeling where you get to bring everyone together for a weekend together. You still have this beautiful venue, and also you get this experience. I th- I think a lot of times, especially I'm out east. I'm in the Washington D.C. area. A lot of our venues that are like that, it's very, it's like an old Girl Scout camp or an old Boy Scout camp that they renovated. So you're getting kind of like the hostel experience (laughs) versus the hotel experience. (laughs) Glamping still. (laughs) Yes. How cool is that? So, um, I wanted to take a second because I you told me this before we started recording, but I would love to have you tell me the story of how you all ended up with this wedding venue because this is such a cool story. I just can't let us um, move on without hearing. Okay. So um, we obviously CNC by the lake. My parents are Carmichael and Carmichael, and that was the name they came up with, and I get to ride it all day every day. Anyway, so my dad had a fish farm and he raised Japanese koi and he shipped them all across the country and zoos and, you know, I've caught stuff like that. And after 9-11, he was not able to ship them anymore because of the regulations and travel changed so much. Um, So he got out of farming and then we had all 60 something ponds just sitting there, you know, without using them. And my mom's like, I am so tired of looking at all those ponds out of my window. And so... He woke up one day and he was like, I bet she'd like a lake. (laughs) So he built her this 23 acre lake in her backyard. And then he thought she would probably like a party room. So he built a 10,000 square foot party room for our family. We don't party like we are very, you know, tight knit family and just don't do a lot of things. Um, So 
they built the building and they built the lake. And I said, mom, dad, what's the plan? Um, they're, they're young, they're in their late sixties, but they didn't really have a plan for how to start a business with this time in this industry. They started lots of businesses, but not wedding related. Um, so I started with their Facebook and a website and helped them with their contract. And then it quickly took over my entire life. And 10 months in, I quit my job and my, we stay at my house in Little Rock three days a week and the cabins four days a week. And my kids just living this weird, you know, two house lifestyle. And we love it. My husband, he's doing all kinds of jobs out there and we just enjoy our time venueing. (laughs) What a cool growing up experience. Yes. Yes. My my toddler's like, cabin? She she doesn't know where she's going after school. So we we love it. Yeah. How cool is that? I love it so much. (laughs) Yeah. So What's your favorite part of hosting weddings? You know, this is obviously, I mean, it's like a, it's a very personal move for you because you're working with your family. It's also on your family's property and you're working with your family in like 16 different ways and you're spending a ton of time together. So what is your favorite part of weddings? Weddings. You know, it's it's interesting because, you know, I some some of these couples come to me four months before and they're like, hey, let's do this. And we do it all in one day. And some of them, you know, it's over a year where you get to know them and their families. And then I'm sure you experience this too. Like on the day of, you meet these people and at the end, you have like the sadness, like, oh no, I lost my family, you know. So you just become part of their pack. And I love that part. And I love that my husband's there experiencing it with me. Um, so that's, I like that part best. How I, yeah, I agree. I always, it it's always, it's like you, you become, you really do become part of the pack. Yeah. And then you, <laughs> and it is really weird then the next day you're like, oh man. Yeah. I'm sure for you, like once you deliver the gallery, you're like, bye-bye, you know, so it's, it's sad. I'm like, here is your leftover cake and your presents. See you never. You know, like we've been friends for so long. You know, I know. yeah, yeah. It's there's so much lead up going into it and everything. I yeah. could not agree more. Yeah. Um, what advice do you have for couples who are looking at wedding venues? Um, I, obviously, go in with all of your list of questions because once you get there, you look around and just you're just in love or not in love. And all of the questions that you had are just gone. You just lose them. You lose your entire train of thought. So you write everything down that you can think of, write it down when you're there. Obviously you can email or message later, but just come prepared, come prepared, like do your research on their website. So you can know everything that you can ask and compare for different venues as well. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, um, being prepared, it's hard to be prepared when you've never gotten married before, right. but you can always ask, um, what should I know or what should I be asking or something like that too. Definitely. Um, the other big thing for me, and I don't know how other venues feel, but um, for my all-inclusive, my max is 150. Okay, it's 200, but I tell them 150 is my sweet spot. And a lot of people come in thinking they want these huge weddings. But for me, having done them, I just, it's for me, it's the client experience and then it's the guest experience. And if people are waiting and they're tired and they're being shuttled around, it's not pleasant. And so I want the best experience. And so I just kind of cut it off. And that's kind of, it's something that people struggle with, I believe, but I want to have the best experience for everyone. Yeah, I agree. And I think, you know, prioritizing The best experience for your guests helps you also have the best experience as a couple because you absorb that. Like if everyone is a little restless and tired and um, you do kind of absorb it as the couple too. Right. Amazing. Um, My last question for you is what is one question you wish couples asked you during the initial consultation? I've been struggling with that one. you know, or I your wish top question, okay. the most important question. Most important question. Um, I think, you know, I, what I wish is for people to kind of give me 
a vibe of like what they're looking for in advance so that we don't have any confusion. You know, do you want a dancing party? Do you have a dancing crowd or do y'all want to just chill? Um, just to have kind of a feel, you know, for what they're looking for so I can kind of get to know what they're wanting overall. I don't know. Yeah, that makes total sense because then you can help them craft that. Right. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to put those things into words. So, um, yeah, I totally agree. Um, I am so glad you came on The Wedding Dish today, Courtney. It has been so fun dishing with you. Um, where can our listeners find you online? Yeah, so my website is candcbythelake.com. And you can also find me on all the social medias on with that C and C, and it's the it's the word and spelled out, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we'll link on the show notes and everything, so it's really easy to find CNC by the lake. And while you are finding them online, you can find us at theweddingdishpodcast dot com, where we will have show notes and all kinds of cool stuff from. CNC by the Lake and Courtney. And you can find us on Instagram at the wedding dish podcast dot or not dot com, just at the wedding dish podcast. <laughs> it's Friday, everybody, for me. <laughs> Don't forget to tune in next week. We have another amazing guest joining us and give us a follow, rate, and review if you like the podcast on your preferred platform. Courtney, thank you so much for joining me on the wedding dish today. And until we meet again, cheers. Thank you. Bye bye.